so easy. <laughs> it does look so easy when you play it to that music. Because it is the end of week two of today's weight loss challenge. And we hope those of you who are following along at home are feeling the benefits. Because I think you are, aren't you? You're... I do feel well. I mean, it's been mm. a long week this week. but, it, but We've I do been feel... working both ends of the day. But I do feel good. It's like reversing the the eating a big meal at night to mm. having a, a quite a big breakfast and then a you know, reasonable sized lunch. But then a very small dinner is working for me. Because I do go to bed feeling a lot lighter at mm. night and I sleep really well and I and wake up in the morning. And I've lost three kilos um, in the last two weeks. Hey, yeah. well done. That's awesome. You might very well say where off your ego. <laughs> but, but no, it's like three... What a good line. Yeah, it's a good line, isn't it? I got there before you did. Um, but it does... It, it, you just start to feel good once you get into it. Um, mm. And Dr Nick Fuller is behind all this. Um, and he joins us now um, to talk about all manner of things in relation to this. Um, I do feel good, Doc. Um, and, and you are right. Mm. It just takes a little bit of getting used to and you have to turn things around in your brain. Exactly. Good morning, uh, Carl and Ali. I mean, just to remind the reviewers, a couple of weeks ago, you gave me a little bit of a ribbing and put me up to the challenge uh, to help you lose weight, but importantly, lose weight and keep it off keep this it off, time. Yeah. yeah, so we've signed you up to the Interval Weight Loss Challenge uh, over the initial 10 weeks of your journey. We're teaching not only you, but also the home viewers the six steps to long-term weight loss success, which are the six principles of the Interval Weight Loss Plan. Um, last week... We went through portion sizes, as you just mentioned, the big to small and the use of the chopsticks. This week, we're conquering food addiction. Now, all of those processed and fast foods that we see on every corner of every block, well, they give us that high that we're looking for. They make us feel good. Uh, they make, you know, they, they release those feel-good chemicals in the brain. But unfortunately, it's as if our brain has been hijacked because every time we see them, uh, this, this chemical known as dopamine is released, telling us to go back for more. Yeah, look, I, you know, I have to admit, um, the family has had Chargill Charlies a few times and they make the best chips in the world. One of my favourites uh, too. But you just you see them and you smell them and when you're not having them, it, mm. it just does something to your brain. Um, is, is there any way of sort of combating that apart from just not going home? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, this is what we're doing, remember. It's not the all-or-nothing approach. You can still have those... Favorite treats, takeaways once a week. Yeah, but I don't know that you can. I, I, I'm can. a guy who I can't. I can't Definitely. have two chips. And we not can have, have ten. But isn't two chips better than none? I, I don't know. We can all cut them out for a short period of time. But remember, we're, we're setting you up lifelong. Mm. So this week, what we're doing is actually retraining our brain towards nature's treats. The foods that naturally occur in the environment, the the fruits, the nuts and seeds, the avocados. These ones also release the same feel-good chemicals in the brain. They also give us that high. The problem is, Carl, I mean, we're hardwired to keep going back for the process and fast foods, but that hardwiring in the brain is, in fact, soft wiring. Um, and over time, if you persist, like the home viewers, uh, those healthier food choices become easier. But it does take 66 days. So you've got to tell yourself to reach mm. for nature first. That's the sixth principle, second principle we're working on this week. Yeah. So in 66 days, who will love carrots and think of carrots as junk food? Mm, deep fried. As a treat, as a treat. <laughs> and our, and our char girl Charlie's once a week. <laughs> <laughs> um, talk us through your top tips then for beating the junk food cravings. All right, so I guess we've got to surround ourselves with these nature's treats uh, starting this week, the fruits, uh, the avocado, the nuts, all of those things, the berries, the things I just mentioned. Hey, so hey we, just quickly, Nick, can you have us when you're talking about fruit? Yeah. So I was always told you can't have too much fruit because there's natural sugars in it. And They're great. They're oh, the ones okay. that actually feel, remember, are releasing these feel-good chemicals in the brain. Reach for all of those fruits, mm. um, but keep the treats to the once per week. Remember also that research shows the first bite of any food gives us the most pleasure. So oh, when yeah. you have the block of chocolate, put the square of chocolate in your mouth and keep it in there as long as you can. <laughs> How did you know? How did you know? <laughs> I mean, it is hard. Mm. It's hard to reprogram, especially after a while and especially after um, going through pregnancy. I mean, I, I was pregnant for nine months and there was a lot of stuff in the, in the fridge that we I don't lived know it where. with you. <laughs> You're doing well, Carl, but Thank I guess you. the only concern is, is the all or nothing. Don't apply that. Mm. You were very brave last week to weigh in nationally on air. There's, it takes a lot of courage Mm. And, and you. I you know, encourage you to keep doing it, but it's not the all or nothing, remember? And I, the bookies, I, what are they betting on you to try and lose 15 kilos? They know nothing about interval weight loss. Yeah. Well, the first thing is we shouldn't be betting on it because weight is a serious 
medical condition, and that's why we're helping you long term. No, we shouldn't, and we, and we know we put a hundred bucks on it. Yeah, <laughs> but Ali, can I just remind you, you can get yourself in trouble betting on things like Coach of the Year. Um, yes, so that's just, a very good point. Just be a little bit careful. Um, thank you, my man. Uh, thank and you. Uh, mm. look, a meal plan, a detailed meal plan, is mm. on our website, and a Commando C's exercise plan for the week as well for you at home. You can head to our website todayshow.com.au for all the details in regards to that. And uh, it's look, well it's well done. Worth. Three if, kilos is a lot. That's a massive effort. You should be really proud. Yeah, of yourself. I am proud. Um, but it, it's just it's gone a little bit sort of in waves. But but I feel I feel healthier. I feel mm. more alert. Uh, and ordinarily this week I would have been more tired, but I've felt really good, and you mm. would have noticed that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thanks for your support. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, a reminder to help you get motivated. Thanks to Rexona, which is my personal favourite antiperspirant, um, the sport one particularly. We have 10 fitness vouchers valued at $2,500 each to give away. Yeah, and the money can be used on anything from exercise equipment to workout clothes. You can simply head to the Today Show website to enter. And I have noticed, Carl. Rexona I've noticed sport. a big difference in you this week. You don't stink so much. We... Oh, my Sorry. God. Oh, it's just tried anyway, to be nice. It didn't happen, no, no, did it? Doesn't, it? it doesn't work for you being nice. <laughs>